What's up fellow K-pop fans and fellow armies? If you're watching this, that means, well, it should mean that you just finished checking out my reaction to the remix of Mic Drop. And if you haven't watched that yet, uh, I don't know, you can watch this. This is the review, but also check out the reaction too if you didn't check that out. If you have already checked it out and that's what led you to this review, then you're on the right path and, and that's great. You guys, I actually took a second to write some notes about this. As you can see, there's my horrible handwriting and notes. I didn't write that much, but I wrote enough because I wanted to compare the original mic drop to the remix version of mic drop. Now here's the thing that I like right off the bat about the remix version. It's not that different from the original, which I think is really cool. And also in my opinion, it doesn't really seem like it's a remix, which I think is awesome. Like it's more just like a reconfiguration of the song which I think that Steve Aoki, sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, I think he did an excellent job and made some really good choices with this. Now, there are some things that I kind of missed hearing from the original version, but then there's other things that I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool that they did that here. And I might actually like this version just a tad bit better, more, however you say that, just a tad bit more. And I'm gonna get to explaining to you guys exactly why that is. So one thing that's missing from this that I liked in the original version is right from the beginning, that really distorted feedbacky guitar that starts off mic drop, the original mic drop, is such a cool intro and then it has that turntable and then it goes into the song. I really like that because it just added this grittiness to it and kind of like a mixtape kind of feel. And I, I liked that about it. And they kind of took that out. But what he did do, what Steve did, I'll call him Steve, because I'm probably pronouncing his last name incorrectly. What Steve did is he did have part of the original song in this, but with like a filter on it for the intro, which I thought was really cool sounding. Right from the beginning, the drums in the remix version are more boomy, whereas the drums from the original version are more like old school hip hop. They're very punchy. The kick doesn't like have a lot of reverb on it or anything like that. It doesn't, the, the note doesn't keep going. It doesn't have a lot of sustain to it. It's more punchy. It's just a boom. You know what I'm saying? Whereas the remix version is more of a boom, 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 you know? And it's a little more warmer, which I'll explain more later. The bass in the original version is more distorted. It's very distorted, actually. It sounds like they turned the gain like all the way up and then cranked it even more. For any guitar players out there that might understand what I'm talking about there. Yeah, so it's super, super distorted on the original version. I'm not gonna just go through my notes because I have a lot of notes and I'm kind of reading through them, but basically what I'm trying to say is the original version and the remix version have totally different sounds when it comes to like the mixing style or production of them. I would say that the original version has this very old school hip hop feeling to it and sound to it that I really enjoy listening to. And that's really cool. I love nostalgia. If you guys can check out this hat. I was born in the 90s and I love the 90s. And Mike Drop, the original, screams 90s. It's just the sound, the feeling of it, it really does. And I love that about it. It even has like a vinyl kind of feel to it, but it also has this thinness to it that a lot of old school hip hop had, very thin. And that's not an insult in any way. It's just kind of like the style of the way that it sounded. Whereas this remix is super warm sounding and it's a lot more wide. It has nothing to do with like old school hip hop. But what's really cool is it still has that feel in here because Mike dropped the song, the bare bones of it is old school hip hop, which I think is very cool. So in that regard, it is kind of like a remix, but it doesn't feel like a remix to me. It feels like they said, let's kind of throw some new things in here. And that's what he did. Like for this bass part, I feel like he chose a different bass, but kept the same notes. It's the same melody. Not only that, but there's also like a lead synth part. That part, totally different instrument in this song. And also he messes around with some like EQing and some filter things going on, which is awesome. Love it. I couldn't say which I like better because again, it's just two different styles really. Okay, so let's go to J-Hope's part right from the beginning. In the original version of the song, there is drums still going and there's also the main synth still going while he's rapping. 
But during the remix version of it, the drums completely drop out, which sounds really freaking cool, man. I really like it, actually. I kind of like it better. It's just a little different, and it leaves this room to just kind of take in J-Hope's voice and his like attitude and his rapping. It's cool. Oh, that's one thing that I wish stayed in the remix version, but it's not there, and that is during the pre-chorus. If you guys listen carefully with headphones, I would suggest, or a good sound system, there is like an old school school Dr. Dre hip hop kind of synth sound going on in there during the original version of the song. Again, staying true to that old school hip hop feeling, but it's not in the remix. And I really love that synthesizer sound. It's just, it's really iconic. So it's kind of a bummer it's not in the remix, but it doesn't kill it or anything like that. You know, it doesn't ruin the remix. It sounds great. Also during the mic drop, mic drop, drop, right? That part. During the remix, it, there's a little more space to it. Now, obviously, he went through, he EQ'd things differently. Even their vocals, if you notice, I'm pretty sure they didn't re-record their vocals, but the EQing is a little more touched up. So during RM's part, during the remix, there's this awesome, really glitched out sounding snare drum. That sounds friggin' awesome and really badass. And it reminds me of Linkin Park a little bit, actually, to be honest with you. I feel like Joe Hahn from Linkin Park, the DJ, uh, uses that kind of sound every once in a while. So that was cool hearing that. I've got a here right here and it's driving me insane but i got it a couple more notes that i wanted to talk about so the next pre-chorus during the remix adds snares which gives you a little more of a groove which was really cool in this as well and it just made it move a little bit more and it changed it a little more which was i i thought that was a good idea honestly and finally the bridge the bridge in the remix version there is no distorted bass and that is one thing i kind of miss from the original version there's a really distorted bass in this song in the original version of the song uh which isn't in the remix but it is also at the same time it's kind of cool that you get to hear RM a little more clearly, and then you get to hear that bridge a little cl more clearly as well, uh, as opposed to the original version. So if I, I really love both versions of the song, to be honest with you guys. I think I, I like the remix version just a tad bit better. Um, but again, they're completely different styles, really. But I wanna say that I really appreciate that uh, Steve Aoki, and again, sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly. He didn't like approach this and remix it like some people remix songs where like he'll like repeat the vocals or change like the pattern of the song or the, put the bridge over here. And then there's like a million choruses and we got to put the oops, 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 drums to the whole thing. Like he didn't do that. He, I feel like he approached this as in let's redo the song or make a different version of the song, but let's not make it about making this a dance club thing. You know what I'm saying, you guys? And I, I love that he did it that way. I love that they worked together and did it this way. That's my review. It's about 10 minutes long. I'm sorry it was so long. And hopefully I didn't talk about too many geek music stuff or anything like that. And hopefully I kept it interesting for you guys. But I really wanted to compare the two songs like in depth. You know what I mean? I feel like both versions of the song are really good. And I feel like it was, it'd be a cool thing to just compare them, really. And, I, and honestly, I just wanted to compare them myself. So hopefully you found this interesting, Dreamers. Uh, and if you're not a Dreamer yet, hit that subscribe button. What are you doing? <laughs> sorry. Anyways, you guys, thank you for checking out this review. I really appreciate it. Dreamers, keep on dreaming. I'll see you in the next video. There's some reactions over here. And until then, on young. <laughs>